رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله ولكم تو اور كلاسز فور مدينة بوك وان And we are in the lesson three, inshallah. We are going to summarize this, what we did in the class. And we are going to clarify about an nakira and al ma'rifa. An nakira, we said in Arabic, the word is in nakira form if it is We call this in English indefinite, means it's any word. We speak about any word. And that word is nekira, is ending always with a tenuin, two vowels. Okay? But if it's ma'rifa, that this item or this object or this animal or person that we speak about is well known, okay? We speak about a specific thing. We add L and the two vowels will become only one vowel, okay? And Marifa, okay, and Marifa always have one vowel, one at the end, one vowel, okay? And the Nakira has always two vowels at the end, okay? So we have here El Marifa. We start with a nakira. Mm -hmm. And we have al ma'rifa. We say that a nakira is the definite, the indefinite, sorry, the indefinite word, and al ma'rifa is the definite word, okay? So let's write it inshallah the nakira is the n the finite word al ma'rifa is the al ma'rifa is the definite word yeah definite word Good. So by this, inshallah, we should understand the uh, terminology of al marifa and the nakira. As I say, repeat, inshallah, al nakira has two vowels and doesn't have l in the beginning. Doesn't have an l in the beginning. Okay, and al marifa is the one who have only one vowel. And most of they have L, okay? It's not all the time, but sometimes they don't have that we will see in the next lesson, inshallah. So try to remember this, inshallah. Okay? We have Kitabun, a book. A book. El Kitabu. El and Kitabu. Double. Only one, okay? This is Marifa, the book. Jamelun a camel, el jamelu the camel. Okay? So far, it should be obvious, inshallah, yeah? So, el Marifa is the definite word, and the Nekir is the indefinite, yeah? Inshallah, let's get this. And we go for El Kalamu Maksurun. El Kalamu Maksurun, that means the pen is broken. That's the part of the pen is broken. We describe the pen that he is or it is broken, okay? The pen is broken. Al-qalamu maksuron. Maksuron is 
Nakira is two vowels. Al-Babu, Al-Babu, Marifa, Maftuhon, Nakira, it has two vowels, okay? Al-Babu, it has L, not Babun. Al-Babu, it has L, and it has one Dhamma. So the door here is, you can see that it is open, okay? You can see outside. Al-Waladu, the boy, Jalison, is sitting. Okay, is Al-Waladu Jalison. Wa, which is Harfat, and Al-Mudarrisu, Al-Mudarrisu, Waqifun. Al-Mudarrisu, Waqifun. So here we have is, or is. Is, as we said in Arabic, we don't need it to. Hada maktabun. This is a desk. Okay? This is a desk. Is, we don't need it. Al-waladu is jalison. We don't need it. Okay? We don't need is to uh, give a meaning of our uh, sentence in Arabic. Is, is omitted in Arabic. It's a popular uh, verb, we don't need it in Arabic, okay? So, El Waladu Jalison, we understand that the boy is sitting, okay? That's just to clarify this and to say it again. Okay, next will be, next part of this lesson will be El Kitabu El Kitabu Jadidun. We're going to see the new words. El Kitabu Jadidun. Jadidun is new. The book is new. Well Kalamu Kadimun and the pen is old. Mm -hmm. And the pen is old. Remember this because after we are going to start in Shara El Mubtada Wal Khabar. El Kursiyu Maksuron. Maksuron is broken. The chair is broken. El Ma'u Baridon. Baridon is cold. The water is cold. El Baytu Qaribon. The house is near. Well, Masjidu, sorry, well, Masjidu, Baidon, Baidon is far. Well, Masjidu, Baidon, and the Masjid is far. El Lebanu, Haron, Har is hot. El Himaru, Sagiron, the donkey is small. Well, Hisanu, Kabiron, and the horse is big. El Mindil, Wasikon, Wasikon is dirty. The handkerchief is Dirty. Al Kamaru Jamilon, the moon is beautiful. Al Hajaru Thakilon, Thakil is heavy. Al Hajaru Thakilon, the rock is heavy. Well, Waraku Hafifun, and the paper is light. Okay. Al Kamisu Nadifun, Nadifun is clean. Okay, so we know all the first parts, El Kitab, El Kursi, El Ma. So we are going to see or to review these parts as well, and we are going to see the opposite ones. Jadidun, which is new, much with Qadimun, which is its opposite. Qadimun is old. Jadid and Qadim. Baridun is called. And Haron is hot. Okay. Next is Sagiron. So Karibon is near. And Baidon is far. Karibon is near. And Baidon is far. As well. The Sagiron is small. Sagir is small. Kabiron is big. Kabiron is big. And we have as well Wasikhon, which is dirty. Wasikhon. And we have Nadifun, which is clean. Wasikhon, which is dirty. And Nadifun, which is clean. And last of the opposites are 
Sakilon, which is heavy, Sakil, which is heavy, Sakilon, which is heavy, and Khafifon, which is light. Okay? And we still have the, uh, the, the rest of the Maxoron, which is broken, and Jamilon, which is beautiful. Okay? Maxoron, which is broken, and Jamilon, which is beautiful. See what we have next page. Here we will, are going to do the exercise. Mm -hmm. Here it's asked to us to write the words in Arabic and to focus and to write especially the last vowel, the last vowel, because of some are definite, some are indefinite. Okay? Masjidun indefinite nakira el masjidu defin okay if you understood the lesson you should be able to do all this inshallah this will be the homework okay this will be inshallah the homework of the this day so i said masjidun with the two vowels and el masjidu with one vowel because one is nakira, one is marifa. El ma u ma un. Okay, the student should write these in Arabic and put the vowel as well. He will do or write the English or its proper language meaning. That's the teacher will know that he or her <coughs> have understood. Next one and the last one is a homework as well to write the 10 sentences one by one with a vowel on it and give the meaning for each sentence. El Mektabu Maksuron, the desk is broken. El Mudarisu, one damma jadid on two damma and the teacher is new okay for this exercise as well you do the writing in arabic with the is at least the last vowel put either one vowel or two vowels and give the meaning in english or in your language that uh, you follow with your teacher okay hope this lesson is well known and we will see you inshallah in next lesson inshallah for next week lesson. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.